Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. Today we are going to be showing you a complete guide on how to complete the Kultiris uh, Pride achievement, which is one of the achievements you'll need to unlock the Kultirans. Uh, a couple of notes before we get into it is that in order to do the achievement, you have to have completed the story, so you'll need the achievements for a sound plan, um, dressed far, and the other one, which I have videos for all of those, which I'll link down here. The second big note is that you should start doing this as soon as you hit 50. Um, don't worry about completing the ready for war yet. Do this as soon as you hit 50. The reason for that is because as soon as you hit level 51, you can no longer do the dungeon finder for BFA. And you need to do three dungeons during this mission. So alternatively, um, you can do what I did, which was you can level to 60 and then try to solo the dungeons or duo them. Anyways, uh, hopefully this video will help you. If it does, go ahead and press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps out the channel and I'd greatly appreciate it. Anyways, let's get into the video. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is make our way to the Harbor Master and get the quest from him. That's going to have us come out of here and make our way down here. All right, once you've made your way here, you're going to talk to Gin. We'll get a little bit of video. Then we're gonna run over to Catherine Proudmore, talk to her, and now she wants us to go down here to search the offices. All right, once we've made it to this dock right here, we're going to have to fight our way through and make it inside. Once we make it inside of this door, we're going to look for these scrolls right here. We're going to click them and then we'll get ambushed by this feller. So we'll go ahead and slay him. Okay, and once we've slain him, we need to make our way back to Catherine. Right, once we make it back to Catherine, we'll go ahead and talk to her. Wait for a little bit of RP. Okay, after a little bit of RP, we talk to Catherine again, turn in that, and then we pick up the quest from Jen. For that, we need to make our way here to talk to Flynn. All right, so once we've made our way back to the Harbor Master's office, we're going to talk to Flynn, wait for a little bit of RP. Okay, after he's done with his story, we'll talk to him. And now we've got to make our way down here to Bridgeport. All right, so just a little northeast of the Flight Master to Bridgeport is this area. And our objective here is to get bombs. Uh, you can get them from killing people uh, one at a time, or you can also search for the boxes, which will give you, I think, five. So, for example, here's a box. So we'll just click on it, and no, it gives ten. So I would more so go for the boxes. Uh, but that's certainly at your discretion. All right, after we've collected all 100 bombs, we want to make our way down to Freeport. Right next to the Flight Master is going to be Flynn. We need to pick up the quest from him. Now, this is going to have us go after or after three different people. So we're going to start going to this corner down here and you'll pretty much have to fight your way through you do have these azurite bombs that you can use to help you but 
so we'll go down here. All right, once we've made it down to this dock, we're going to look for Beckett. And we're going to defeat him. And then loot him for his key. Once we have that, we then need to make our way to Luna, which is right here. Same thing, just defeat her. Once we've defeated her, we need to go to the left and make our way into this house right here. And we need to defeat Reed. All right, once we've got all three of those keys, we turn in the quest to Flynn. He's then going to have us go up here. To get over to there, we want to get to this bridge located right here. We'll cross that. Okay, and we'll see this big pile of treasure. All we want to do is come up to this chest right here. Click on it. And we'll wait for a little bit of RP. After a moment of that, we'll talk to him. And then he's, it's going to change to make a daring escape. For that, all we need to do is wait for him to grab the chest. And start running this way. We're going to come over to here. And we're going to jump off this cliff. And now we go for a little bit of a ride. All right. So after the ride, Flynn will be standing here. You turn in the quest to him and you'll get the next quest, Taugador, the fourth key. This is the first dungeon that we have to do. So we are going to do specific dungeon and Taugador and try to queue. Who knows how long it'll take because, you know, it's BFA. That says it's going to be pretty quick, but we'll see. All right. And once we make it here on the map, which is right at the Night Captain boss, we want to click on these keys and loot that skeleton key. All right, so after we have completed the Tolgador, we've killed the Overseer and got the key. We need to make our way back to the Harbor Master's office and we need to talk to Flynn Fairwind. Tell him here I have the last key and then wait for a little bit of RP. All right, after a little bit of RP, I'm going to click on Flynn again, turn in that quest, and then we'll pick up his next quest which is going to have us make our way back to Catherine Proudmore over here. All right, and then once you've made it here, we're going to talk to Catherine, say your daughter was taken to fate's end, and again, we'll wait for a little RP. Right, and after that RP, then we'll turn in the quest to Catherine, pick up her next quest to Forlorn Hope. We then need to go to Stormsong Valley and find Brother Pike. And that's going to be up here. All right. And once you've made it here, we're going to talk to Brother Pike. We're going to pick up his quests. Oh, except my inventory is full. So I'll go back and get that. Okay. So we've got the quest ritual effects and the strength of the storm, which is going to have us cross this bridge here and go up here. Okay, we want to kill these Abyssal Prophets to loot the three different items here. The knife, the robe, and the lantern. So we just go through and kill them. That was only my second kill, and I've gotten two of the parts. So we're going to keep killing, like so. And oh, I wasn't that lucky. All right, for the other quest, we need to find these twisted currents and we need to use this. I think you have to use it when they're dead. Let's just double check that here. So now he's dead. Click on that and it counts. <laughs> oh, okay. 
All right, once you've completed both of those, you want to make your way here and into this building. Come over here, go out. Then we want to follow up this hill. Up, oh, then here we go up the stairs. And then we keep going until we get to there. Okay, once we've made it up here, we turn in the quest to Brother Pike. And then we get his next quest. Alright, the quest that we're looking for is Shrine of the Storm, the Missing Ritual. Which means we need to come down this way. And we need to make our way into this dungeon. Alright, and once you've made it here on the map, you'll see this scroll right here. You need to click on the scepter. And then click on the scroll. And now we need to make our way across here into Volzith. Alright, so once you reach him and defeat him, that quest will be completed. And then we need to make our way over here. Um, pro tip if you're soloing this, skip Storm, Storm Song. You can't really solo him because he mind controls you, so just walk around and jump into the pool and then come over here. Alright, and once we've made it here, I'm going to talk to Brother Pike, turn in that quest. Now, he wants us to do a little puzzle, and I'll be honest, I don't remember exactly the order. It's kind of janky. So, let me figure that out, and then I'll tell you the order. Okay, so, you'll talk to him to get him to start it. He'll do a little text. And the first one's going to be the bell. I'll return if they do not hear our call. It's the blood. Okay, so that's not right. So the second one, I guess, would be the knife. And then the third one is going to be the light. Okay, so it's bell, knife, light. Alright, and after a little bit of RP, You'll see this boat come, we turn in the quest Brother Pike, and get his next quest, which we need to come over here, click on the boat, and go for a little ride. Alright, once we've arrived on the island, the quest is going to update to search for signs of Jaina. We're going to click this, and then we need to slay him. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, once he's slain, we're gonna come back to Brother Pike, who's on the boat. Don't click the boat, just click on him. And now he wants us to return to Lady Proudmore down here. So you can click on the boat to get to the other side and then make your way over there. All right, once we've made it back here, we're gonna talk to Catherine, turn in that quest. And now we get the quest of Myth and Fable, in which case we need to make our way to Adam Strand and Drustvar. And once we've made it here, we need to go into this house right here and talk to Lucille. She's gonna give us the quest, the old bear in which case we need to go to Ulfar over here all right once we've made it here we're going to go into this cave we're going to speak to Ulfar 
if I remember correctly, he basically says, oh, you're, you shouldn't, blah, 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 I'm not going to help you. And then we'll wait for a little bit of RP. After a moment, these guys will start attacking. We've got to kill a couple waves of them. Okay, after defeating the waves, he'll run back down into the cave. We turn in the quest from him, and then we pick up his new quest. We're going to have to do all three of these. Buried Power, Hatred's Focus, and Nightmare Catcher. For that, we need to make our way down here. Once we've made our way to about here, we'll be presented with these Fallen Defenders. We can slay them, and from them we're looking for the Ancient Sinew, and also the Intact Bone Dust. Right, we also need to look for these glowing black piles, so that we can get the Rune Stones. Alright, and then we need to make our way here. We need to click on this. We're going to wait for him to pop out of his grave. And then we need to defeat him. We then loot him and we need to return. Alright, and once we're back here, we go ahead and turn in the quest with Ulfar. And then he's going to give us the next quest. Waincrest Manor. Alright, so once you've reached this point right here, uh, you will be able to click on the skull and you'll just channel it. Now one thing I will mention that coming down here when you fight the three sisters, you will have to have a second person. If you're only one person, then it'll reset and you won't be able to progress. So make sure you have two people. Okay, the next step is to make our way down here to Gorok Toll. It's right under where the lady was, and we need to defeat him. Alright, and once he's defeated, we need to make our way back to Aram Strand, or Strand. Come in here, talk to Lucille. And now, we need to send the message to Catherine, so we're gonna come out here. Make our way over to this house. Talk to this person. Let's say send word to me at Gol Enoth. Gol Enoth. And then we need to make our way here. Alright, once you've made it here, we'll see Catherine. And we'll have to go through a little bit of RP. She'll say lead the way, and essentially we just gotta run down here. Let me jump over. Apparently you cannot jump over, so we have to actually run down all these stairs. Hoorah! I'm gonna come over here, oh, we can fall there. And we're going to place this effigy right here. We'll just clicky clicky. Okay, so we turn the quest into her. Pick up the next quest. Runic Ward unlocked. And let's see. Yeah, I just don't know the pattern. And she won't tell me. Why am I healing her? I need to heal myself. Okay. Well. Okay. So the pattern is going to be right. Up. Down. Left. Okay, once that's done, turn the quest into her. And then click on this thing to load. Alright, so once you get into here, you're going to be in this scenario. And you've got to make your way up the road until you get to the dots. 
Uh, once you get to the dot, there'll be a little Jaina. But before you get to Jaina, this guy will spawn and you just have to kill him. And we'll continue running forward. So there's the little baby Jaina, or little kid Jaina. Oh, wait for a little bit of RP. Okay, after a little bit of RP, then we have to continue going forward. Uh, those look like we can mount here, so that's helpful. And we'll see this memory. We go through a little bit more RP. After a bit of RP and a little ambush, you'll be able to click on Jaina here, and then she's going to disappear. You'll have two dots now. So we'll just go to those, continue up this way, oh, maybe not, we'll go around then, fine. Alright, so arriving at the first dot over here, there'll be a little more RNP, R RNP? A little more RP. Alright, and once we've done a little bit of RP, these guys will attack us. We just take them out. So angry. We'll wait for a little bit more RP and then we should be able to click her again, I believe. Yeah, so we'll click on her again. And now we're gonna make our way to the third dot just over here, uh, this way. Okay, and now another scenario. We'll wait for the RP and then we've got to fight him, I believe. Yep, we fight him. Time to go away. Wait for a little more RP, then we'll click on her again. Now we need to find the real Jaina, which there's another dot over here, which we'll make our way to. All right, and after a little bit of RP, once we arrive there, we'll fight this guy. And now we wait for some more RP. Okay, so after you click on her, uh, the little baby Jaina, the real Jaina will show up here. And then we have Grand Tool here. which we can attack him before he can attack us. But ultimately, we have to defeat him along with Jaina. Okay, now it changed over. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, and after you defeat him, a little bit of RP, we're gonna click on Jaina here and click I'm ready to leave. After you arrive here, we click on her turn it in and congratulations you've now earned the pride of Colteris achievement hopefully this video was helpful if it was be sure to go ahead and press that like button don't forget to subscribe and we will catch you in the next one as always thanks for watching